Nev Cartwright was diagnosed with lung cancer at the age of 45. Fearful of every new illness, virus, can't help but think of cancer and to be somewhat independent it makes a massive difference. This time though, he used an app on his phone to secretly record his PIP assessment. This is the original, but for legal reasons, we've replaced the voice of the assessor. So, looking at your form, you've put a couple of conditions. Yeah. The way I want to do it is, I want to start with the one that's causing you more problems. Okay. And which one is that, please? Having one wrong. <clears throat> It's a voice memo recording. It works like the old dictaphone type things. Um, and I literally just, just pressed start and left it on the side where I was sat. <coughs> okay, so when was it diagnosed, please? I was diagnosed with uh, cancer three years ago. So you felt recording it, what, might protect you in some way or what you might be needed in the future? A safeguard for, for, for an accurate record of what had taken place. In the recording, you can clearly hear the assessor reading out data from a test to measure his lung function. Thank you. What was the result of the heat flow? First one, it was 250. And so the first one, 250. Second one, 200, and the last one, 150. Not bad, good. Not for your height and age. But in the final report, that last reading, 150, appears to have doubled to 300 litres per minute, twice the capacity never registered on the tape. Um, me having a bath, so he says it was just one of a number of mistakes that, made uh, in his assessment that day. Very poorly assessed from first moment on arrival. She also asked me to do a physical test. Um, that it, it suggested in the assessment guide that I shouldn't have been asked to do. And she also said that she'd done a, a, a physical examination of me. And it's very evident on the audio recording that she never did that at all. Under DWP rules, secret recording like this is banned. If it's spotted, you have to stop or your whole claim can be rejected. When Nev's decision came back, his benefits were cut anyway and he lost his car. So he wanted to use the recording as part of his appeal. The government then tried to get the taped evidence thrown out before his tribunal. Very unfair, uh, in my opinion, improper. But after two hearings, the judge in his case finally agreed a transcript of the recording could be entered into evidence. Nev went on to win his case and his car was returned. The government would say, this is taxpayers' money. It has to carry out these checks to make sure the right people are getting the help that they need. I was a taxpayer, so it's also my money and all of my friends and family, it's their money. And when government start making uh, decisions on, on how to spend that money, they should be doing it fairly. Although very rare, this is not a one-off. This programme has heard of a handful of other cases where judges did allow secret recording to be used. In Nev's case, the firm responsible for his assessment says its standards were not met on this occasion and it has now changed its approach. How did you feel at the end of this whole process, Nev? bit damaged. Um, relieved on the one hand that um, I've, I've got my mobility situation sorted out but as you can see from what's in front of me I've wasted perhaps 12 months of my life in an in a unfair fight. I should probably be more diplomatic than I w otherwise would be but I think, I think it's a mess.